Hi everyone, welcome to Love in Life. Life. My name is Victoria, this is my wife. Regina. Mwah. And today please subscribe to this channel, hit this bell button, thank you so very much who already did. And we are having eggy bread or French toast. Like I know English, um, English I think, someone told me that they say if it's not sweet, it's eggy bread. So yeah, uh, cheese, uh, mozzarella cheese, pickled uh, eggplants, amazing vegetables cukes tomatoes onion if someone wants and i want one of them sweet one so i have here um, creamy peanut butter i have cinnamon and honey regina wants savory wants savory yeah this is the honey that i have this one so yeah i buy this honey at costco mm. right, cheese Cheese. Ah, not to poke you with a fork, of course. <laughs> Even though, you know, through the camera, a little bit of poke, like in Facebook, you know, virtual, virtual poke. I think we need to put a light a little bit less. Just a sec. Yes. A oh, now a little bit better. Sorry. It was our inner glow. Yeah, it was inner <laughs> glow. Interfering. <laughs> yeah, probably. It was a good one though, what you said now. Right, inner glow. You don't think about the inner glow, but oh, oh yeah. It's always inner glow. I know. There you go, Sven. Oh! It's flying, flying. You really don't want flying onion. No, you um, don't. Maybe I should have done it different. Let's try it again. I want, again, me and my, um, you know, Maybe they're coming to Vancouver, I need to check. Probably I won't be in Vancouver when they will come. Uh -huh. I want I want a new uh, musical to go. But again, now I think it's play, it's still playing in, uh, in Broadway. And I'm not sure it will come ever here with yeah. this particular cast. Which musical, sweetheart? It's Paint War, about Elizabeth Arden and um, Helena Rubinst Rubinstein. It's the um, about two tycoons with like makeup tycoons that had war in between of them. So, yeah. Seriously? What? Yeah, but it's musical. About makeup. About makeup. Not a makeup, makeup companies. I understand. Musical. Musical. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I love musicals. But I can't say this one is appealing to me. You didn't want to go to to anything goes. You said in at first, and then I yeah. offered, and I said, "Well, I don't know. Do you think it will be good?" I think I need good idea. Bring those white ones. Um, but um, makeup companies. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it's good. And it stars Pat and it stars um, Patty Lapone and oh the other lady. The name I will never remember the name. And it's Patty Lapone's last musical that she does. She wants to go away from the Broadway. No. Yeah. Okay. If they come and we're here, I need to check. I don't know. Are they even supposed to come? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. And how long is the musical going to run for? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm too sad to check it out. <laughs> well, maybe you need to arrange a trip to New York. Yeah, I think so. Someone wants to arrange trip to New York now. I agree. Yeah. I've never been there. No. Mm, funny. The girl I work with, she's going to um, New York in a week. She has family in there. I guess she can watch the musical. I don't think she would. 
Can you take me with her? I will love them. Oh, I'm sure. I love the musical. I love, I love musicals too. I was just surprised mm. about your choice of musical, but anyway. You, but I know you love makeup, but still. Mm? It was a surprising choice of musical, honey. Mm. That's funny. I'm kind of surprised. It's not just a musical. It's the you know, life story of two women, that self-made women. That um, One is Canadian, one is Polish. And they made, like, in the world of business, one of the biggest names. Like, if everything you know about makeup for now, like, how they sell, how they package, everything, it came from them. So that's why, like, because it's such an iconic figure. I know, I know. I need to check if they will come to Vancouver. Maybe. Someday. Hmm. <laughs> but I really want to see current cast. I really, really want to see current cast, but I don't think that current cast will travel. There's a big possibility it won't happen. Hmm? There's a big possibility that it won't happen. I know. But you never know. No. Okay, let's go to Broadway. That's how I'm sometimes. Something stuck in my mind, and uh, twice I missed um, the uh, Book of Mormon in Vancouver. Twice. That is very sad, actually. It's sad. It was sad. Totally, totally, totally sad story. Yeah, by the time you find out about it, they're like, a they few, ti few tickets left. If, if. If, and they're like crazy expensive, and by most parts, actually, don't have any ticket left. No. I know. Twice I did it. Oh. First time I uh, blew it all together, and the second time it was the. Yeah. Oh. It was extremely expensive, and it was. Uh, and it was um, almost sold, and yeah. Oh, the Book of Mormon. Yep. That's a lot of honey. I know, it's just the day-to-day. -day. And cinnamon a little bit. You need to understand my surprise. The fact that she's making it sweet with honey, it's a bit shocking because... Well, usually it's never mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah, yeah never sweet. sweet. How it looks. I haven't seen you doing sweet one in many, 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 many years. years. I can't even recall the last time. I was like ages ago. No. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Once in a million years, you know. And that looks really how it feels. Very good. Very good. Mm. Mm, not this one. This. I knew, I knew, I, I was even thinking, why didn't you take the other one? Because it has your name on it and... Um, I know, I know, I was just like, oh. I took it and was like, oh, that's to I totally <laughs> missed, missed it. You know, that's how we communicate sometimes, subconsciously. Like, I totally blew it, that's the wrong one. Oh, onion, onion. Mm. Sweet one is amazing. You want honey? Try it. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted the savory one. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing, but um, I'm good. It's very good. Cinnamon, peanut butter, and honey. Lots of honey. <laughs> honey, it's honey. Not as, not as much as you think. No. I think it's less than a teaspoon. I'm sure it is. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Now the dilemma. There's no dilemma. You can take half. 
No, I don't. I will take full. I have a little bit more peanut butter. Usually, I love the. I love, yeah. It's 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 a big world. We usually we don't use to peanut butter really. I know that um, I didn't grow up with peanut butter. It took me years, years, and years to understand that it's actually edible, and it's <laughs> and it can be good. And we do love peanuts. Yeah, we do love peanuts. We do love, we do love nuts, but because we are. Um, grew up like ask all my Russian friends I mean who came right away from Russia rarely people love peanut butter because it's so, such a foreign flavor to them and um, and very 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 on rare occasions people love um, they'll eat sunflower butter Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, yes, but not butter. Not Somehow the butter, the butter mm -hmm. never we never made anything like butter, actually, like nut butters. No. So it's very hard to, like, people really don't like it. Like, they don't understand why pe other people like it. They don't like the texture. They don't, don't like the feel. You know, when it sucks all the moisture from your <laughs> mouth, basically. <laughs> That's a funny description. It's true, though. It's true. It's true. Mm. I know. Savory one with savory with eggplant. Mm, mm, mm. The eggplant is always good on savory one. Mm. Mm. Today it hits the spot. This hits the spot too. I knew it that it would. I wasn't sure. I, I thought I will uh, have like two savory ones and one sweet one, but apparently not. Well, the most important sweetie pop thing is to enjoy. I am totally, totally enjoy it. So yeah. By the way, the egg bread or the. French toast I made out of English muffins. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's contra. <laughs> yeah, you can make French toast out of English muffins. It's not say. sweet. It's not any bun. It's any other bread, yeah. Cold. No, I'm laughing because I would they... say bun. Oh, water. You like some water, sweetheart? Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Mm. Mm? I'm good. <laughs> Never mind. And now you're swimming. Never mind. <laughs> I poured water all over myself. It's fine, yeah. <laughs> it actually is. I don't know, was my face really surprised? <laughs> nope. No, that's still funny. It's something that it can happen to me. Oh. Alrighty. We'll take you to a second break. <laughs> While I'm drying myself and you bring an ice cream, right? Yes. The ice cream! Ta-da! Ta-da! The Amazon Classic. Classic Q. Classic you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> because we have um, uh, one side of the packaging is in French and the other side is in English, we always have this mistake to put in English. Look, look, look. Um, it's. Yeah, I know. Cool. It's foggy. Cheers. Foggy. Cheers. Oh, don't. Not too hard. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Give me a box, please. Give me a box, please. This is the English part. And this is French. Classic key. I, I think it says classic key. I have no idea how to say it. Because we don't speak e French. 
So every time we're doing like uh, we're making you know cover photo or something, we need to be very much aware what side we are putting, whether it's English side or uh, French side. Reinforced Alliance certified. Alien? Alliance. Did I say Alien? <laughs> yeah, um, that'd be us. We're Alien. <laughs> that would be a surprise. That won't be a surprise, actually. I have no recollection of mothership. <laughs> if I know you, it won't be a surprise. <laughs> I really don't remember. A mothership? <laughs> Just think. Mm. You don't remember the mothership? <laughs> How come? How did the landing was too hard? <laughs> you bumped your head, honey? <laughs> That's why? <laughs> that explained a few things, right? <laughs> Oh gosh. If you think about this, I have pretty vague memory as well. <laughs> oh man. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Blue lights. We know the sofas. Okay, I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I remember in, in uh, school. And the, as you can imagine, one of the hardest things to learn for me was uh, literature. Because, oh, you know, God. you had to read, understand, and then you had to read it in Hebrew, and yeah. Let's put it this way. Our literature was brutal. Oh, no. All those short stories, that there is so much, apparently, meaning in every, <laughs> hidden in every, Word. you know, every few words mm -hmm. and you're supposed to actually get no. it. Oh, no, God. there was there was a case that was the ro um, Roman, like the, the big one. This was for me. It was the, the hardest. And when I went, um, and out of all of them, uh, my teacher um, chose for me to do its Kafka. And oh. Kafka, it's such a, like the, uh, I'm trying to translate, Mishpat. Um, Persecution? It, it wasn't precise. Judgment? No, it's the. of Kafka. Trial. Trial. It's a trial of Kafka. And it's such a surreal. surreal. Like, so sometimes in life I have those moments that I feel like I'm. inside this book. And this is one of them, like, when, you, when I'm trying to rem remember the mothership. My teacher was nicer, never read this book. Oh my god, she's only heard your horror <laughs> memories about it. <laughs> over and over. <laughs> I had such a nice teacher. She was, oh. she, she, she was so cute. She came seconds before. And you have to understand, I struggled and I struggled a lot with the literature and it was such a hard job and I, it took lessons and one of the you know girls like a couple of years older than me she lessons me she means tutor tutor yeah tutor, what not and she helped me a lot like it was it was struggle to get to this point and when I got 80 which for me it was like million for normal people and so seconds before the big exam came she came to me and she said to me you will never pass Oh, yeah. Ever. Like, and she you will, like, like this, you will never pass. And she went, like, without, you know, good luck, anything. And I did it for 80. Don't you love those teachers? That shape our future generations. That bring so much positivity into the kids' lives. Yeah. Especially with the snacks kids. Oh, yeah. And she knew that I'm the Mm-hmm. But I think she thought that I'm... I'm not dyslexic and I'm just late. I don't know, probably lazy or something. Stupid? Stupid. You got that a lot. Omja, oh, Omja, oh, you have no idea. I got it in two forms. Or, oh, it means that you are stupid, or the other way, it's nicer way. Yeah, but you don't look like stupid. <laughs> what? Hi. 
And funny part, the last time I got it, it was a couple of months ago. It's not that I got it a long time ago. I'm, I'm getting it quite a lot because I'm so open with my dyslexia and I don't care and I'm telling pretty much everyone. Like, if it's appropriate, I mean, in the conversation. Yeah, I told recently someone, oh, Ariel is dyslexic. I thought my son is dyslexic. She's like, got such such face in a person's eyes. Like, oh, it's too bad. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Sure. No. I was like, oh. Mm. But again, I want to understand. You grew up next to me, next to my brother since he was 15. So pretty much most of your life, you know what is dyslexic means in like real time and and very close encounter. Oh, dyslexic people are brilliant, just don't ask them to spell or to write. <laughs> yeah, but not everyone knew. When I said to you, maybe Avril will be dyslexic, you said, oh well, I hope not, but oh well. But, but again, there is no um, dyslexic person, person like True. others. Some are, are struggling with math, for example. And yeah. actually can read and write fine. And everyone is a little bit different. There's no two dyslexic alikes. Like, even me and my brother have huge differences. Like, my brother is more math, like Ariel. And I had the amazing head interest in her for literature. If she was normal and she was could explain me, because I could I can connect and feel information and meanings and it's comes easy to me and art and uh, biology I'm huge on biology I really like to love biology as me so like I had my strong strong points as well it wasn't math or chemistry or that's okay you don't have to be dyslexic to be psyche in math or chemistry <laughs> True. some people just it doesn't work for them it's okay yeah, let's talk about mothership. Ice <laughs> mm. yeah. cream is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is us. Next time when I'm going to shot in Kayu, I will see. I'll see. Thank you, honey, for delicious dinner. That was awesome. You're so welcome. Uh, welcome. Ariel was... Uh, he Funny was story, yes. Two, two, three. He said, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, some of the things he said stick with us. <laughs> Sometimes we're using it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for coming back and watching us. We love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers, love in life. And remember to go towards your joy and do something fun every day. And laugh every day as love well. Every day. Like, yeah, it's, it's very important. important. It's very important. Laugh is very important. Even so, if yeah. you find your mother, don't find your mothership, it's okay. <laughs> you can join our community. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. 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 Check our online shop. We have Go Towards Your Joy t-shirts, tank tops, cups, stickers, and unicorns. Thank you. Love you.